All right, enough fooling around. Let's get into your unique devotion. This is your source for biblical uh, scripture and uh, also devotion uh, for every day. Uh, here I read a little scripture in the beginning and then pose a question at the end. Sometimes give a little dissertation. Sometimes I ramble. And uh, But the most important thing is is getting some good, wholesome, sound, truthful words into your ears, into your eyes, into your hearts, and watch it change your life as you build communication with God. So, today is John chapter 16, verses 19 through 24. This is the second part of Sorrow Will Turn to Joy. So, let's start John chapter 16, starting verse 19. Here we go. Now Jesus knew that they desired to ask him, and he said to them, are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little, the world, a little, uh, let's back that up just a little bit. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful. But your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come, but as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore you now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, Whatever you ask, the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. So, the question here is, have you asked the Holy Spirit for joy today? Not happiness, but joy. You need to ask. He didn't, if you, if you look here on your own, there's commas. It doesn't say ask and you will receive. Yes, that is true. But what he's pointing out here is ask that your joy may be full. There's a section there. And you will receive it. So ask to have your joy filled today. Joy is no matter what your circumstances, you are calm, you are collected, you can, you can see that you know that there's something beyond. There's hope that you didn't have before. Happiness is temporary. You want happiness? Eat a piece of chocolate. You want happiness? You know, go for a little bit of a run. Watch a movie. Um, smile. Uh, say some kind words. Those are, are things that can bring happiness. Even eating food can bring happiness. Doing some things that aren't proper can bring happiness. But it's called happiness because it's temporary. Joy is something that far extends any of that. So I, I encourage you, take a moment, just ask God to fill your joy today. And according to this, you will receive it one way or another. I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day.